You're joining medical college and the first thing you want to know is what books do I actually need to buy in first year MBBS? You open YouTube, there are a ton of videos. Everyone is recommending different books. Some say BD Chora says is a must. Some say go for grace, it's the best. Now you're confused. Don't worry, I'm here to clear all your doubts. In this video, I'll talk about all the books available for first year MBBS, anatomy, physio and biochemistry. And by the end of the video, you'll have enough clarity to decide what books you actually need to buy. Hey everyone, I'm Manoj, a final year MBBS student from Bengaluru. I make videos to help medicals like you learn smart, stay motivated and grow. So without any delay, let's start the video. There are mainly three types of books in MBBS. Gold standards, exam oriented and passing books. Gold standard books, these are the best conceptual books, detailed, in-depth, used globally. Exam oriented books, these are student friendly, easy to understand and useful for exams as their content is easy to reproduce in the exams. Passing are last minute books. These are quick revision books used just before exams. But before we begin, one quick disclaimer. Please don't buy books out of FOMO, you don't need to rush and buy everything before college starts. Join college first, borrow books or PDFs from seniors, study for a few days and figure out which books work for you. Now let's get into each subject one by one. In anatomy, we have three parts, gross anatomy, histology and embryology. Let's start with gross anatomy. Gray's anatomy is the best standard book available. But for UGs, it's not really necessary. You can consider buying it only if you're particularly interested in anatomy and want to delve deeper. For exam oriented studies, we have books like BD Chaurasia and Vishram Singh. BD Chaurasia is the most widely used textbook for anatomy with clear concepts and easy to follow explanations. It's also helpful for presenting answers in exams and I personally used it. Vishram Singh is similar to BD Chaurasia but has simpler diagrams and concise information. In anatomy, diagrams are crucial even for scoring marks in exams. So choose one of these exam oriented books as your primary textbook and use the others as references. Netters Atlas is an excellent resource with amazing illustrations. It helps with orientation, spatial anatomy and dissection visuals. Use this while studying theory to gain a clear understanding instead of mugging up. For histology and embryology, go with IB Singh. It's more than enough for theory and practicals. Straight to the point with all the diagrams you'll need. Coming to the practical, for dissection you'll need Cunningham manuals, which is really helpful if used properly in the dissection hall. These are the books available for anatomy, you can take a screenshot. This is one of the most important subjects in MBBS. Why? Because if you understand physiology well, subjects like pharmacology, pathology and medicine will become easier later on. Starting with gold standards, we have Guyton and all and Genoms. Beautifully written, great for deep conceptual clarity, very detailed, can be time consuming. If you're comfortable with that, go with Guyton or use it as a reference. Coming to exam oriented books, we have GK Pal and AK Jain. I personally like GK Pal, amazing content, great diagrams, beautiful flowcharts and easy to understand. Also we have Sembo Lingam, concepts are clear and simple explanations. Try it once, you might like it. This is a list of books available for physiology. This is a subject many students feel. And 90% of the time, it's because how it's taught, not the subject itself. To start with gold standards, we have Arpers and Lippin Cots, super detailed, beautiful diagrams, but not suitable as your main textbooks. And honestly, you don't really need them. Coming to exam oriented books, we have Vasudevan and Satyanarayan. Both books are amazing, easy language, colorful, clinically relevant boxes, covers almost everything you'll be asked in exams. Vasudevan is slightly more detailed than Satyanarayan. Most of the colleges recommend it so buy whatever feels better for you. Also we have RM Prasad, this is a passing book, very concise and easy to understand, especially for your exams. Not gonna lie, this is one of the best books for exams. During exams, you'll have very less time to study big textbooks, so you can use this during your exams. If I had to pick textbooks for first year, my choice would be for anatomy, Vishram Singh along with Netos Atlas, for embryology and histology, it's IB Singh, for physiology, GK Pal, for biochemistry, Vasudevan, along with RM Prasad. Always buy one textbook as your main textbook and keep the PDFs of all other textbooks as a reference. Important reminders to keep in mind. Don't buy everything at once, try PDFs, read a few chapters, then decide. Stick to one book per subject. Don't switch around too much. Make your own notes even from simple books. Notes help more than you think. Your goal is not to collect books, it's to understand, retain and pass smartly. Along with the textbooks, online resources are very important to study the subject smartly. So if you want a video on online resources, let me know in the comment section. 
and if you want to know how to study anatomy physiology and biochemistry or if you want to know about ragging or student life you can check out my playlist first year mbbs i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you in the next video till then this is manoj signing off